ain't waiting for. Somebody has to hear the truth. Somebody has to tell it. Turn on the lights. I said, turn on the lights. The power is in you. The power of self-discipline is in you. Somebody has to hear the truth. I dare you to challenge yourself. I dare you to say enough is enough. Yes, we are tired of sleeping on our trees. Somebody has to rise up. I rise and turn on the lights. Hello, lovely family. You're welcome on La Baby Spotlight Show. I remain your hostess, La Baby. If this is your first time of tuning in, boy, you are welcome on the Spotlight Show. Wonderful family out there. Thank you for always following up to date on our info and our content. God richly bless you. Today, I'm going to be daring you, actually. I'm not going to be talking to you. I am daring you to improve on yourself, Maria Sia. And the intro has basically dicked key points what we'll be talking about but still i'm going to highlight on the necessary key areas that we need to know in order to improve on ourselves to get to that top that peak in our lives um before that i'd like you to know that in this life self-discipline is, is basically everything without self-discipline we cannot achieve whatever we ought to achieve in this life now continuing i want you to know that there are two types of people in this world or in this life there are those who who say i am going to do it okay i am going to do it and the second <laughs> i'm going to wait till i feel like doing it then i do it these two different category of persons where do you fall under the first or the second ask yourself this question wherever you are located today now this is very key if you know the kind of person you are you know um the kind of effort you need to get there i'm going to have to change your mentality of who you are and start saying no i am going to do it or you are going to also procrastinate like the second person. Now, ask yourself some questions. First, am I practicing self-discipline in my life? Am I practicing self-discipline in my life? Do I make time for things I really want to attain or need to attain? Ask yourself, what am I doing every single day of my life? Do I just take the day as it comes? For instance, Monday. Monday has landed. I know I'll go to work, so... I just pick my bag and off I go. Or Monday has come. I don't have anywhere to go. I just sit at home, relax, eat, sleep, eat, sleep. Or the ladies, I chit chat with my friends. Or I stand up and go shop. I mean, what do we do with our time? What do we do with our day-to-day -day activities and affairs? You need to ask yourself. And ask yourself that whatever you're doing, is it relevant to where you want to get to tomorrow? All right. The other question you also have to ask is, am I allowing time to just bypass me? Like... I'll eventually get there. Like the second person I'm talking about, I'll eventually get there. So what, what will be, will be. Let's allow things to flow. Do you normally say that to yourself? Well, question to be asked. Now, I want you to know that it is time to stay focused. Everybody, stay focused. No matter who you are, be it a little child, adult, whatever. Stay focused. What do you want in this life? Where do you want to get to? What do you want to become? You see... Sometimes we kid around and say that I want to be this, I want to be that, but I don't have money. Um, I didn't find myself in the right location. I didn't find myself in the right setup. So um, it will be difficult. See, there are obstacles everywhere. No matter what you want to become in this life, be it a musician, singer, actor, doctor, um, politician, what have you, there are obstacles in every lane, every step, every building block you want to get to. So don't give me that that there are obstacles, so what will be will be. No, it's not like that. Obstacles are part of distractions in life. Put that in your head. Obstacles. They are part, dear. They are part of distractions. But what do we have to do with these obstacles? We need to develop strength. Strength within and outwardly to charm over these obstacles. People will stick their fingers in your face and tell you you are no good. What do you do? What do you do when people when people tell you, oh, Evelyn, you know, you really can um, consider being a tailor instead of trying to pursue your dream as a musician because I don't think you're any better. You, you don't really qualify to be a musician. What do you do when people speak negatively about your dreams or where you want to get to in this life? You just say, okay, because so so and so said this, so I don't think I can become. What do you actually want to become and what do you want to do to get to that level or that stage? Now... You need to be self-disciplined to get back on track from where you started, from and where you are going. Self-discipline is needed from the start to the from to the end. Uh, am I speaking to somebody? Darling, without self-discipline, where am I even starting from? How do I know where I want to get to? How do I know the road, the target? How do I know how the end looks like? I mean, goodness, girlfriend, darling, honey, 
Get up, arise, quicken up yourself and tell yourself, yes, I want to be a journalist in future. So what am I doing? I am going to pursue. I am going to study hard. I'm going to sit my butt down, even if it is so difficult, because I know what I want. I want to be a doctor. And so I will not just waste my time, lobby around, chit chat, follow useless friends who will not be of any help to me one way or the other. Talk about irrelevant stuff. No, I won't. I'm going to get up, wise up, level up. Look for the people I need to contact to be successful. Study what people had to go through in order to achieve what they had. And ask myself, am I ready to take that step? That bold journey to become who I want to be? Ask yourself this. Now, it's how hard you hit. Sorry, it's not how hard you hit. But it's about how hard you hit and you get kicked down. And yet pick up yourself and move forward. Being successful doesn't come on a rosy ground at all. You see, the sweat is even crying out over here. Being successful has not been um, probably something that comes cheap. Then like all of us would have gotten there and jammed and said, oh God, now I am successful. So that is the end of my road. That would have been easy, but it is not child's play. It is not child's play at all. Sometimes we need to tell ourselves the truth. See, there are days that will come that you, 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 you have to um, ask yourself, actually give yourself a quick, good assessment of your life in general, in totality, and say, boy, do I really want to go through this? If yes, how? And develop that strength. Martin Luther King didn't become known over a day. That doctor you admire didn't become known over a day. That teacher you are admiring today didn't become known over a day. It took hard work. It took discipline. It took perseverance. It took consistency to get to that point. Now, today tell yourself, I am going to pick up myself. Challenge yourself to be self-disciplined. Make a choice. Just decide what it's going to be. Am I going straight or am I going left? Am I going straight to get the ball or I am going to backstab and say the ball should wait? In God's own time. See, we, we, we do that to ourselves and we end up sitting at one place where we ought to move. We sit at one place because we say, we are waiting for the right time. So we will procrastinate. But hey, procrastination never won any trophy. Let me remind you, procrastination never won any trophy. But hard work, self-discipline won a lot of crowns and trophies. So ask yourself, am I going to be self-disciplined today? I'm just going to be lazy in myself, jumping into bus to bus, going to various stations and stations. <laughs> That's a challenging question. You need to sit down and ask yourself. Now, don't get comfortable with your normal routines and patterns. Put yourself in an uncomfortable position. I love that one. Uncomfortable. Mm. God, um, most often, we love positions that are very flexible, free. It is in a tree dialect, which means that when we eat, then we sleep. When we eat, then we sleep. <laughs> oh boy, who doesn't like comfort? But nothing good was ever gained in a comfort zone. That is the truth. That is the sad reality of life. Nothing good came easy. Comfort. <laughs> if it is comfort, then we'll never ever achieve anything in this life. You can dream about the kind of life you want, the kind of future you want, society and all, but until you wake up and plan on how to get there, they will just be dreams, my brother or my sister. They'll be just dreams. I sleep one day, wake up and say, oh, I had a very lovely dream. I had a very big house, a wonderful family. Oh, my children went to the best schools and everything. But wake up, girlfriend, it's still a dream until you realize it. Until you back it with prayers. Until you back it with self-discipline. Until you back it with effort. It will be baseless and it will remain a dream till you leave this earth. Challenge yourself today that no matter what, I am going to be self-disciplined to win that trophy, that goal, where I want to get to tomorrow, I am going to be self-disciplined because, darling, you can get step believe in yourself and achieve your dreams by making every effort count thanks for hearing what i have to blab about and the day i have to dare you today thanks for listening not just hearing alone but you listen i believe you listen to it see Leo, or, or, or because i feel like i had to go slow it is war because we need to challenge ourselves so don't worry about my Composure today. Fanny and normal. Take it normal because this is a step we need to cross. Thanks for listening. And remember, I needed to do this for someone out there to hear this. 
Stay blessed and be a spotlight in the void of darkness. La baby remains my name. See you in our other subsequent editions. Don't forget to share, comment, and ask your questions, and we will be happy to address them. Let us see.